Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna talk about what I think are the best studio monitors for mixing and producing under $750, the Yamaha HS8. These monitors are point blank amazing. Flat frequency response, clear, crisp top end, smooth beefy bass, and will definitely take your mixes to another level. These speakers have a range of 38 Hertz to 30 kilohertz. So you get a very great balance between the lows and the highs. They have an eight inch woofer and a one inch dome tweeter with an internal crossover point set at two kilohertz. These are active monitors, so they have the amps built in. You don't need any external amps. Each speaker has its own power cable and each speaker is 120 watts, so they get really loud. In this 10 by 10 studio that I have, I have the gain knob on the back of each speaker set to its halfway mark. And then when I go to my audio interface to actually adjust the volume output, I never end up going over 70%. Now these speakers are great for medium and even slightly larger rooms. Now one thing with active monitors is that when they're on, they do tend to generate a bit of noise because they're active, they have the amp inside. So with many speakers, as you get closer, you'll hear a slight hiss. You'll hear that there's a little bit of noise coming out of it, even when no sound is actually being output through the speakers. Now with these, these are actually probably some of the most quiet active monitors that I've used, they're actually barely noticeable even when you're pretty close to them. Now I've been using these Yamaha HS8 monitors for several months now, and I can honestly say that it's probably one of the best things I've spent money on in this studio. It actually does really make a big difference having great high quality monitors. They're very clear that flat frequency response makes them very accurate and has really helped me hear a lot of things that I couldn't hear before with my previous monitors. Now, many studio monitors under $1,000 tend to cater a bit more towards producing or a bit towards mixing. These seem to be the perfect sweet spot where they are great for both. They are very even and they don't add too much presence or too much bass. Now, when it comes to the build and construction, these are extremely well built. They have two colorway options, all black with white woofers or all white. They're beautifully designed, solid, and they feel like quality. On the back, there's an XLR and quarter inch TRS input. There's a room control switch for a low shelf cut at 500 Hertz with options for negative two dB or negative four dB. There's also a high trim switch with high shelf boost or cut options at negative two dB or plus two dB. Now, another awesome thing about these speakers is that the eight inch subwoofer packs a lot of punch. You really don't need a subwoofer additionally when you have these monitors. Now for a pair of Yamaha HS8 monitors, you're looking at about $740 for the pair. And on occasion, you can find a sale for two speakers at $700. Now at this price point, I really don't think there are any other monitors that I would recommend over these. I'm actually really happy with these. One of the best things I've spent money on in this studio, and it's something that I highly recommend. Now in my studio, I have them set on monitor stands and I do have isolation pads under the speakers, which help to reduce any vibration noises from the speaker being on a flat surface. So whether you're doing mixing or you're doing producing, these are speakers that I recommend. And if you're interested in getting them or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.